Boxing Hall of Famer Joe Cortez is our special guest host, and he is also an ESPN boxing analyst. Now, how long have you been doing that? Well, I've been with ESPN for a little over a year and a half now. Now, a lot of people think, you know, you're broadcast out of Bristol, Connecticut, but you're actually here in Vegas. I do a lot of Bristol. I do here in Vegas, California, mm -hmm. wherever they send me. I do a lot of stuff at home. I have a boxing gym, so I have a, a facility to yes. be able to do some of my segments with ESPN as well. And we're going to go there in a couple of weeks and we're going to check out your museum of a home and get a really good inside look and maybe see the dogs, right? right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're hanging that, around yeah. there. All right, Joe. Well, since uh, we have you here today, we want to get a ref's perspective of how a fight goes down. So Ricky and I have our gloves on now, like uh, Ricky mentioned, is going to be our ring girl. I am. So, okay. <laughs> you ready for round one? Yes, we are. Look All at right, you ladies. go. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right, Joe, so what uh, happens when we first get in the ring? And, and well, before we start this, though, we're going to pretend oh, you're left-handed and I'm right-handed. Manny right -handed Pacquiao. And I'm a Floyd, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Okay. Money be Ricky. Before the, <laughs> before the fight starts, I said, guys, we want the rules in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my com commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. And remember, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Okay? You guys ready? We're ready. All right, touch him up. Okay, now you're the Pacquiao, so you're the left-handed style. Okay. Right foot is forward. Right hand is forward. Okay. Mayweather, okay, you're right here. Yeah, right hand okay, right. Okay. Now, when they start throwing punches, what was going on Saturday night was that Mayweather, every time he tried to throw a punch over here with the right hand, the left hand was coming down a little bit. And what was Mayweather doing? He was coming right down the pipe, right from there. Oh. Boom, with the right hand. All night long. Every, all night long, it was boom, Mayweather. Wow. With your right hand. So that's what was happening. Let's that's go ahead and have Adele come in for round two. You're going to mark that. Two. was round two, wasn't it? No, that was round one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's two. All right. And, and while, we're, while we're doing our boxing, we're going to show you a clip from this past Saturday night's fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. We want you to give us uh, Joe, your expert play-by-play -play analysis of what we're seeing here. Okay, guys, roll the video. Ooh. Okay, Mayweather Ooh. just nailed Pacquiao with a straight right hand, jabbing him. He tried, he, Mayweather's trying to stay away from the ropes. Pacquiao's trying to trap him in the ropes. Mayweather just got clipped okay. with a, with a ooh, ooh. Well, straight right hand. He made with against the ropes. He's covering up pretty good. He got clipped with a, with a right hand. And that was in the uh, fourth round, I believe it was. Now Mayweather ooh. comes back with his right hand and has Pacquiao slipping away. Kenny Bailey did a great job. He's warning Mayweather by holding him down. Right hand again by Mayweather. And that's what they say, put down Pacquiao, was that right-handed punch, right? It was the right punch. The left foot all night long, right hand punches, because Mayweather has done the studies. He was watching. Pacquiao style from the beginning. We all know that a left-handed fighter is standing right here like this here. And every time he throws that right hand, he drops the, the left hand down. He goes Mayweather. And every time Pacquiao threw the left hook, he dropped his right hand down. There comes the left hook by Mayweather so again. So it was back and forth. Come on, Ricky, let's try it. Back. Boom, boom. boom. Make sure you don't hit me, that's all. There you yeah. go. Have you ever taken? Oh. We can't put Megan's oh. Megan oh. lipstick here. Oh. Oh. Right. Make sure I don't get hit. <laughs> Have you ever taken any jabs in the ring? I no, imagine over the no, years. No, I've been pretty lucky. You know, I've been pretty lucky. I think I always tell referees when you come in, you're gonna get hit if you come in without yelling your break. You gotta yell from outside, break! Then you come in. Right. But if you come in and yell break in here, it's too late. Right. You're gonna get clipped. Yikes, yeah. yikes. Okay, we got round four here. Teach us one. Go. This round, I want you to teach us something, okay. right? And also the most common offenses you've seen in the mm, ring. That's a because good one. we've seen, like when I was seeing the story about the fights. Uh, Vander, I mean Tyson, complained that Vander kept headbutting him, and in this fight, you know, there's some complaints that um, yep. Pacquiao was kind of being a little underhanded with some of the moves. Are those, those the biggest complaints? defense? No, yeah. well, not, not really. It was a pretty clean fight. They, they have to watch out when, two, when the fighters are fighting, and if they're both throwing punches simultaneously, let's say you're throwing the right hand and you're throwing yours, you're coming in together. Right. There, there's a chance of colli Boom. colliding, of collision of heads. And that's why you have to be careful with a softball. And the other thing also the referee has to watch for, that they step on each other's foot. If they step on each other's foot and throw, stop him, Especially you can hit with a punch. Oh, and a can, you, can throw, you, you can throw him off balance and you get hit. And of course, the referee got to be careful with that as well. So that's why Kenny Bailey did a great job. It was only once that he won about stepping on each other's foot. And the heads, very little. It was more about maybe once or twice a low blow, you know, nothing major. But it was an overall clean fight. You said you pretty much scored the fight the same way the judges did. I pretty much saw. I had Pacquiao winning only two rounds, the fourth and the, and the sixth. That's the way all three judges had it. Give him uh, Manny uh, the, the, the second, uh, the fourth and the sixth. Right. And two other judges gave him two other rounds, later rounds. But I think overall, Manny Pacquiao didn't perform 
to the level that the fans wanted to see. They right. want to see a Rocky type of a fight. Rocky, you know, back and forth. Right. He fight right. against right. Knockdown. And that just doesn't exist anymore. Why? Why? Because the sweet sign of boxing is hit and don't get hit. <laughs> and Mayweather, you know, who the hell wants to get hit? But Mayweather right. says, well, as long as I get to win, right. you know. All right, it's time to break it up. Okay. The winner is. Woo! Give me both. Let's call it a draw. Let's call it a draw. Oh, that's how you go. Oh, that's how you go. These are the kind of things you're I will share my belt with Megan proudly. Do you think there's going to be a rematch, real quick? I I don't think there'll be a rematch. Mayweather is very upset with the complaints of Pacquiao saying he's a sore loser. He's saying he's a coward. This was in today's paper. Yeah. Mayweather said, I was going to give him a rematch, but you know, with all these comments, all kinds of excuses. That he should have just said, you know, a, a better man beat me, fair and square, right. and leave it at that, let it go. But no, he's making a lot of complaints that what's happening now is Mayweather okay. getting very upset. And you know what and they so say, Floyd Mayweather says, he's TBE, the best ever, right? Yeah, oh, that's what he says. All right, guys, stay with us. We'll be right back.